starting with the double under. I wanna show you some common mistakes that I see people making and then some tips to help you fix them on all of these tools. First and foremost, on the double under, the most common mistake that I see people making is trying to do double unders and jumping with their knees. So it might look like lifting the knees really high up in the air. To be proficient at double unders and to be efficient, you're gonna to need to learn a skill of jumping through your ankles. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And I'm gonna show you with something called the basic bounce. So jumping through my ankles versus jumping through my knees. To jump through your ankles, you're gonna practice this with a nice open posture, hands open like this, because that's how you'll hold the rope eventually. And you're just going to bounce through the balls of your feet very lightly. Learning the basic bounce is how you're going to master double unders only once you've mastered single unders. So take your time learning this skill with the single under. I've often said that if you can do 150 single unders in the span of a minute, that means you can't make mistakes, you have to be efficient with your hands, you have to perform the correct basic bounce. If you can do 150 in a minute, then you're ready to graduate to doing the next step in your journey towards double unders. Now I'm gonna move right into that because double unders are essentially a single under with the basic bounce performed slightly higher with slightly faster arms. And the big disconnect I see is how high do I have to really jump to get the rope to go twice underneath my feet. This is where people start to bend their knees a lot. They start to exaggerate how high they need to jump because they imagine it's gonna take forever to get those ropes to go around twice. And in reality, it happens in less than a second. So the drill you're gonna learn is the basic bounce, but we're gonna call it now the penguin bounce, okay? This is the drill, I'll show you. I'm going to start doing my basic. If you caught that, I started to turn my basic bounce into a higher bounce and I slapped my thighs twice. Kind of what a penguin looks like in my cartoon mind. Anyhow, when you jump and you slap your thighs twice, that is roughly how long you need to be in the air to successfully do a double under. So if you can get that timing correct with your basic bounce mechanics and not reverting to your knee jump, then you are well on your way to having the technical foundation to do a double under correctly. So in review, basic bounce, palms open, perfect that with a single under, 150 in a minute, then get your penguin bounce and learn that and then you can pick up your rope and you can start trying your double unders again.